Hi guys, this is me Sagar once again, and this is the follow-up tutorial of TPS uh, Zombie game from scratch, and this is the part two. So, in the last video, we just set some inputs, move forward, mouse inputs, and we set our character. So when you play, sorry, everything mess up again because uh, when you restart your game, it will mess up because there is no game mode set it over here so you have to set your game mode and actually my suddenly my system will crash and this my map folder is gone so we have to create again map and into map we just uh, save this blueprint to map and uh, again we have to set the colors and <clears throat> we need to set this map as a default so right click into here when you start the game that th in this this needs to be pops up so into map set mode there is nothing and the the default game mode is set to base so we just need to set our game mode into here and we need to set a game instance into here which we create in the part first so sg game instance okay and here we need to select our test map our test map and leave all this when you close it it will automatically save and <clears throat> into <coughs> sorry into this game mode we need to again set our sg game mode and no problem right click open this actually this don't save so yeah we don't want to save the new map every time it open it show you a blank map so this is our map so so next we need to make some new blueprints <coughs> like animation blueprint so right click go into animation we need some animation blueprint click this and we need to instant instance anim instance select your skeleton and press ok name it as G whatever you like oh man anim anim bp or anim graph name it anim bp is okay for now and uh, into anim bp we need to tell this uh, anim bp to what to do so first of all just try get try get pawn owner so it try to get its honor and honor of course is your character so just cast to your game character okay so first of all what one, one thing we need to check it is valid okay is valid then cast it otherwise won't fire every single time because it is an enemy it's kind of a tick it will fire constantly so we don't want to or like this it will fire it will always firing so we just need to check it is valid or not if it is valid then cast it <coughs> sorry <coughs> and so after that we just save 
promote the variable as g as g ref as g ref so it will save your player reference we need in later this later so after this into anim graph click on the anim graph and here we need to create a you know locomotion so first of all we need a state um, state machine state machine add new state machine and name it loco locomotion and into your locomotion open this there is nothing so we need to create some animation blend spaces so right click uh, create blend space 1d and select the skeleton this needs to be ideal ideal walk and run okay so into here we just need to give a speed horizontal speed so it will like this horizontal or vertically like this so unreal change a lot of thing in the older we set it over vertically but now it's horizontally so speed and max speed i think is uh, 600 is good so division uh, we can make uh, four for now so into here we just need animations ideal and we don't have ideal so what we gonna do we just use a rifle ideal this will rifle hip ideal for now and uh, walk so we just need a find a walk where is that okay there is walk jog i think jog is there jog forward okay so this is ideal and this is jog right now we use this we will later change it into different animation uh, we can take the animation from third person template there is a without equipping a weapon there is a idle walk run so we can merge that uh, animation into this into later videos but right now we need something to show so save this and open here and just find your idle walk run and plug this and when you compile nothing will happen because you don't set it over here but first of all we need to make cache save as save as a cache so we can use this locomotion later to uh, you know to drive our motion of half body up and down like this so we just need to save as cache we just name it loco cache we can use this cache later so right now loco cache plug it over here we can copy this tons of times so that's very handy so when you click it it will turn into animish animate so right now i don't know what to do because we don't set the speed into here just right click promote a variable 
name a speed and we don't know the speed right now because we need to set a speed so what I do is just take this reference we just do this or do that but we just or make it clean like get velocity we just need a actor velocity and we just need a vector length so this is the vector length it will convert this velocity into length so so it will give you the speed and people ask me in my older tutorial uh, 4.20 remove a uh, calculate direction calculate direction note yeah of course they they you know in the older version this kind of node into switch it over here somewhere but they remove it so it will work like that so we just need this this is anim uh, so it will fire automatically in anim graph we just need to to vector and of course get base sorry get rotation get rotation actor rotation get actor rotation plug it over here so we just only need this now and we just promote to variable direction it will automatically work we don't need to fire fire or call this into here like before we do so this is the new thing so no problem so we get direction and speed and direction so it will work now so first of all we need to go into character and find your animation and when I run it will run like this okay so I'll wrap this video from here we will continue this into third part thank you guys feel free to comment and subscribe my channel I will upload more good tutorial soon okay we will f we will soon make this with a great game okay guys see you bye